Greetings, Doc Griffin here, your Swing Surge Director of Golf Fitting Operations, and it's time again for the Doctor's House Call. Today I'm going to answer a question from a phone call I got before we left for Vegas, which by the way was a great time. Sorry more of you couldn't have made it. Keep your eye out for the next announcement for our uh, spring tournament. And by the way, they tell you what uh, happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Uh, it ain't true. I brought tired home with me all the way. But anyway, uh, the question, I had a phone call regarding uh, a gentleman was going to go get a fitting for a driver and he was concerned about whether he should look at a name brand piece of equipment or if he should go with uh, another head that the fitter uh, had talked to him about that he builds. Uh, his question is, I think, also probably filters down across the board uh, from a lot of folks that have a question regarding the quality of a brand name piece of equipment, which we will now refer to the OEM equipment as brand name, as opposed to the components, which are the heads that uh, the, the builders and fitters would use. Um, you need to realize that there are a handful of foundries that make top high-end quality pieces of equipment. Um, you know, whether it's this one from a brand name company or this one which happens to be from my equipment company. Um, or if it happens to be, uh, you know, the driver that you're used to seeing or one that we put together. Uh, you realize that all equipment comes starts out as components. You know, they're not just squirted out and they've got the shaft and the grip and everything. Uh, they're components, they have to be put together. And there are five or six foundries uh, that are they're located overseas that the, the name brand equipment companies will contract with and so do the uh, component companies that we build. They're made in those same foundries. Uh, the way the process works is they will uh, do a contract uh, to run X number of pieces of X number of heads. Um, when those contracts are filled, then they go to the next contract. Now you'll, you'll have to understand that the difference between a good piece of equipment and one that's not so good, let's talk irons, would be the grade of steel. Uh, as far as titanium, uh, the grade of titanium as well. Um, the equipment companies, brand names, and the component companies that we're using are all using high-end, high-grade steel and high-end, high-grade titanium. So from a quality standpoint, uh, brand name versus uh, the components that we build, they're equal. The one difference that you will find uh, is that the uh, component companies have a little higher tolerance uh, as far as what they will pass or not pass, meaning when they inspect them, if they're not exactly to specs, they will reject more than the brand names. And the reason for that is obvious. Uh, they they're have a higher quality control standard uh, because they're not out they're pumping and trying to keep up with the demand that's being placed by the marketplace which is generated by advertising and tour endorsements which the cost of that is passed on to you the consumer so when you go out there and you look at buying a, let's just work with a driver at say $300 uh, off the shelf or going and getting one built and fit it and built for you at $300, what are you getting? You're getting equipment that is comparable in quality. You're getting one that is made specifically for you and your swing, and that's what you're paying for. The other, you're paying for uh, tour player A to get paid $20,000 or so uh, to, to play their driver, the print that you see uh, on, in magazines and the commercials you see on TV. So, you have to ask yourself, is buying a brand name piece of equipment any better as far as quality? No. So what are you getting for if you go out and buy a brand name piece of equipment? Uh, about the only thing you can say is, is that you can brag to your buddy that you've got 
a piece of equipment from company ABC. But if lower scores and playing better golf is your primary concern and you can check your ego at the door and not have to feel like, well, I have something made by so-and-so, then you can go and get equipment that's made specifically for you. Now it will allow you to play the better golf, golf that you're capable of playing and not fighting the pieces of equipment. That would become uh, a more advantageous avenue to explore. So the answer to the question is, what's the difference? Nothing really as far as quality. The difference is with a, a professional fitter and builder, you're getting a piece of equipment that is made specifically for you. Well, that's it for me today. As always, we appreciate your continued support. And remember, better golf is just a fit away.